All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rechakadash, the bonus to my elders and my apostles, the great Muslim, which are the men that rule well, and taught us his truth, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, and I was watching the, uh, the elder uh, Ari Allah's video. You know, basically, he was speaking on knowing what we're a part of and things like that. And he mentioned something that kind of, you know, moved my spirit to make this lesson. Which did inspire me to make this lesson right here. You know, a quick one. Ain't nothing too deep. Or too, I'm going to say too deep. But nothing too, you know, too long. You know, just something quick. That was on my spirit to say. Which basically is, um, other men, the other men's labors, man. We, we've entered, us younger brothers. Um, you know, I'm a younger brother in the faith. You know, and even the brothers that are, uh, from the 07 era. You know, they've been, you know, doing this for, uh. You know, over a decade at this point, you know, and we've entered and they've entered into other men's labors, which is the parable in the book of St. John, the fourth chapter, which I have the scripture here. You know, I'm meant to start off with this, but nonetheless, you know, he said what really motivated me to make this lesson what really animated me to to, to make this, uh, you know, epistle is when he said to remember, um, you know, how you came into this thing. And that's very scriptural. You know, it's in the book of Revelation, which I have the scripture right here. And I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to read it, you know, because it is very important to remember that, you know, uh, for you younger brothers, man, you know, because you, you know, especially uh, the social media era, you know, a lot of people that came in some, uh, you know, the, the carnal ones that did come in, you know, to just be to for notoriety. You know, you see them in the in their rightful lot. You see them in Sakari, IUIC, and HOI, and things like that. You know, Th that's what um, that's where you see them. And but some of them are even here in Great Millstone. But then you see they get rooted out because they come with a different intention. They come, you know, they have that. Uh, I believe Apostle Gabar calls it a uh, cult of personality. You know. That's what you see in those men. They, they just come in for notoriety and to look a certain way. They come in just to wear diadems and to have a name in Israel. And that's not what it's about. We all came into this in humility for repentance at the end of the day. Yes, brothers, you know, uh, elders are superstars to us. But they, even they, the sincere ones, they don't have that mentality that they're a superstar. They're humble men. And that's how we all ought to be, you know, when we came into this. So um, let me start off with this. John... The book of St. John, chapter 438. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored and ye entered into their labors. Right. And that is the par is the parable. And we have entered into these men's labors, especially you younger, younger brothers. That's a year, two years in. You know, you're you're coming into something that's already built and established, which means that, you know, truthfully speaking and humbly speaking, you don't have a say in how things are run this is the house of the lord you don't come into this with your mentality thinking that what you what you know and what you do is right no you've been in the world for 20 some years 16 some brothers come in coming in are 16 years old you've been in the world for 16 years 20 years 25 21 years of your life you know you don't know right from wrong yet you see we're we're coming in you know, to, to labor, we're coming in to continue to help these men that have been laboring work because we're all going to get the pen, the penny that the, the parable of the penny. That's what that's talking about. You know, at the end of the day, there's men who've been in this 20 plus years there, you know, and men who've been who did it for five. That's going to come in who did it for five or seven. And nonetheless, they're going to come into the kingdom of heaven if they're of the elect and they're all we're all going to receive that penny. Lord willing, we be of that number. Right. Well, when we come into this. The Lord's house is already established a certain way. You see, our elder apostle Tahar, uh, on down, you know, the Lord uh, has has cultivated those men and shaped them to be how they are and to run his house the way he wants it run, right? So you don't come into this and, and, and make a stale face when a brother tells a brother over you tells you something, you see? Because everything that we do is according to the order that was given unto us by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai through our elders and apostles. Especially, uh, I can say here in the D.C. church, the, the men that are our heads here have relationships with these elder apostles. So they run things how the, uh, the apostles do things, you know. They know them personally. So when they do things, you know, we call everybody, you know, you know brothers that grew up, you know, uh, uh, that was raised by their fathers. 
You know, whoever you were raised by, you copy their mannerisms and the way that they are, even down to the walk, right? Well, it's the same thing with our spiritual father. Spiritually, we do the same things that they do. Sometimes you hear them, brothers, they teach like one of the apostles. It ain't on purpose. You know, it's just how they was raised spiritually, right? So we have to, uh, you know, continue and, and take on to what they were doing. You know, that's why we're parrots when we come in. All right. We have to do what they are doing because we don't know no better. You know, we 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 are coming into something that has already been established. All we have to do is follow the rules, follow the order. All right. This is not something of man. This is of it's like this of the Lord. All right. If you know and believe that, you'd have faith in what's going on around you, because there's gonna be orders that you might not like, but we have to go. We have to go on with it, man. Okay. Because we're we're coming into uh, uh, the Lord's house. This ain't your house. All right. It's like it. since it's not your house, you you have no say in how it's going to be built. It's going to be built according to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's will. All right, Revelation three and three. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. Yeah, remember your foundation. You see, there was a few things I was touching on when I was speaking. I didn't want to just ramble. So like if I did a little bit, but those are the just just the things that was on my spirit to say. You know, and that's those are things from my experience. You know. Um, how, when I was coming up when I'm, you know, still, which I still am, you know, I can say that the, what gets you, you know, uh, the furthest, uh, so far, man, just stay humble man, and keep your mouth closed, man. You don't need to, you don't need to be super duper Israelite, man. Just try your best to be the best you can be. Okay. Remember therefore how that has received and heard. Yeah. Remember your foundation, right? If you're sincere, your foundation is going to just be you fearing the Lord, man. All right, it's not going to, you know, it's not about coming into this to try to be chief high priest, you know, super duper high priest. No, it's about, man, you know, I'm an Israelite. I, I got to do something. I got to preach the, I got to preach the, whatever, whatever it is, how you came in, you know, if you're in this now, it's got to be from a place of sincerity. You know, if you've been in, <clears throat> you know, if you, you, you've been doing this for a few months now. You've been listening to the word for, for a few months, close to a year. You've been coming out to the camp for... It, I'll say this. If you've been coming out to the camp consistently, all right, for over a month, man, it, it's got to be from a place of sincerity. You know, if you're really sincere, you know, uh, you, you got you to gotta remember that. That's your foundation. You came in from a place of sincerity. You didn't come with malintention, all right? If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Right? Yeah, if you don't watch, you have to continue. You have to continue on in this thing, man. All right? You have to hold fast your faith, right? How you received and heard. That's your foundation of your faith. When you first came in, why did you come in? Did you come in because you wanted to be, you wanted to look cool? You wanted to be on camera? Or did you come in because you were sincere about serving the Lord? I know I can say for myself you know, being on camera was the furthest thing from my mind, man. You know, I say I say those things in humility, you know, but, you know, what was on my mind was, shoot, man, the, the Lord kills people that, that don't do what he says. Let me get out there. You know, at least listen to the word, something, you know, that's how that's the mindset you got to have, man. All right. And if you, you stop watching, he's going to come upon you as a thief and you're going to be destroyed in your security, like it says in the scriptures. All right. <clears throat> so what we have to. We have to keep when you first came in, right? You you really you know you have to be quiet. You know you have to be humble. Right? That's the mindset you have to keep. Okay? Because why? You're coming into a house that's already been established. This is already up and running. Alright? Great millstone, the elders and apostles.